Hello, I'm Chris. And I'm Gretchen. And we're from the Clark Park Watershed Education Program. Have you ever gone to a stream and wondered if it's healthy or not? Scientists do all the time. Here behind us is uh, Silverbow Creek. This creek has been damaged by over 100 years of historic mine damage. It's been since fixed and it's in its early stages of recovery. We use biological indicators here on the riparian habitat to look for these indicators of healthy water systems. Biological indicators are certain species of either plants or animals whose presence or absence in a certain area can tell us about the overall health of that particular area. Banks of rivers create ideal conditions for trees and shrubs to take hold and grow, as well as smaller plants that require a regular supply of water. These tree and shrub communities create excellent habitat for other living creatures. Cottonwoods, willows, and aspen provide critical nesting and feeding habitat for wildlife and insects. The birds and insects that live along the river and within the plant community that drinks up the river's water are indicators of the health of the river system. Although riparian areas are only about 2% of Montana's land, about 45% of Montana's bird species almost exclusively utilize riparian areas, and many more than that use them. The presence or absence of bird songs, and a variety of them, is an indicator of stream health. Now let's take a look at some of the insects that, are, that actually live in the stream. So we go out, we have to collect them out of the water using nets and uh, different buckets, and we pull them out of the stream, and we try to find out who's living there. Here in Silverbow Creek, one of the indicators we're gonna look at is these stoneflies. This is a golden stonefly. He's a gill breather, which means he needs cold, clear um, water to live in. Here in Southwest Montana, they're one of our major indicators of healthy water. Um, so if they're present here in large numbers, it's a pretty good chance that we've got some healthy water. On the other hand, there are the black flies, which are skin breathers, so they're able to collect a lot more oxygen, and they are a lot less easily damaged by polluted streams. So if we see a, a lot of black flies and not a lot of stone flies, then we know maybe there are pollutants or problems with oxygenation in the water. There are many species that we can use to look at biological indicators, um, not just the ones in the water, not just the plants. We can even use bigger creatures, some that live in the water and some that don't. Another one we focus on in Montana are trout species. One of the species we have that is an indicator of water health is bull trout. Um, bull trout tend to live in these streams in Montana. They are very sensitive to pollution, so they need the coldest, the cleanest, the healthiest water there is. And because Silverbow Creek has been damaged, they are not yet present here. But hopefully in the future, if the water gets back to the way it should be, um, bull trout will be present. And once they are, uh, this stream will be back on the list as one of those premier streams in Montana. Thank you for joining us to learn about biological indicators in the Clark Fork watershed.